you're going to be completing a eulogy on either Adam Smith or John Stuart Mill. It may be an interesting history lesson, but for these Queenie High School students, taking a real keen interest in schoolwork is never top of mind. That is, until you meet grade 12 student David Wilson. What is your favorite subject? Math. Math? Mm -hmm. Why do you like math? That's a pretty hard one. <laughs> well, not really. You just basically have to find numbers and formulas, know how to calculate them. David is a fantastic student, putting in a ton of hard work when it comes to his studies. He is also a very talented martial artist who will soon be testing for his black belt in Taekwondo. And in his free time, David holds a permanent part-time job at his local Savon Foods. Definitely a great kid. But the fact that he has accomplished all of this while facing a disability is the true test of his greatness. It was at the young age of two that David's parents first noticed that something wasn't quite right. The doctor asked us how many words David was speaking, and at the time he was speaking about 30 or 40 words, and we didn't know that uh, the norm would be about 200 at that point. In grade one, David was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, and as the gap widened between his age and development, he would frequently lose control if his environment was tweaked in the slightest. If uh, we went the wrong way to school, uh, he would, uh, I call it the stop, drop and roll. He would get very anxious and very upset and actually throw a tantrum and kick, uh, you know, in, in the middle of the car. Both Scott and his wife were very hands-on with the disorder. They constantly tested David's boundaries, using his freakouts as opportunities to teach the boy how to properly react when things didn't go his way. Uh, I realized what set up this moment was our ability to teach him how to, uh, to regulate himself, regulate his emotions, how to be able to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, not get uh, amped up in terms of his anxiety level. And as soon as his confidence and, uh, you know, behavior start becoming issues, he doesn't uh, have the ability to perform and, uh, and the potential gets lost and uh, locked away. Thanks to years of dedication, David has been able to overcome his disorder and now he excels in all aspects of life. He recently won two major school awards and Savon Foods added to that list with an Employee of the Year award. He uh, does a great job for us. Uh, he's very conscientious uh, uh, with his job. Uh, vast improvements uh, in everything that uh, we give him to do. It's worked out wonderful. Add in his recent 2013 Alberta Great Kids recognition and this teen is truly an inspiration. How does it make you feel that you've won all these awards? It makes me feel very fantastic. Mm -hmm. You're proud? Yeah, I'm proud of myself, <laughs> definitely. And he's not alone. Hi, David. Oh, I missed it off. How are you today? I'm doing good, yeah. Awesome. The Great Let's Kids Award honors children okay. for their determination, their compassion, courage, and great spirit. And I cannot think of another student who is more deserving of this award than David Wilson. For Ditlaw, <laughs> having the good. chance to work with this bright student has definitely opened up her eyes to underlying potential. And as for Scott, he is a true believer in the old African saying, it takes a village to raise a child. But when it comes to his brilliant son... Occasionally a child comes along that can raise a village because it rallies the best out of everyone and the best out of the resources. And it's about I guess the implied message in, in all this is that the village is working together and that, uh, that we're actually keeping the, uh, the, uh, the, the potential of the child as the, uh, the focus and that's what de determines whether we're winning or losing. A great way of thinking and a great example of doing. For Go Edmonton, I'm Angelika Gavrensky.